Gemini. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your general and love weekly for the week of October 6th until the 22nd, 2017. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. So Gemini, please keep in mind if the reading does not resonate with you to look at your moon, your rising signs, and also your Venus sign for love. I am using Tarot of Sexual Magic again this week. Um, it is a sexually explicit deck, so if those of you that are offended, I deeply apologize. But um, well, it's a powerful deck, So, and I'm going to be doing it um, sep different this week. I felt led to do singles and couples separately. And... Um, for this portion of the reading, I'm using the Witch's Tarot. Amazing deck. So, Jim and I, those of you, you know, too, that would like to, you know, get a private reading with me, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, even a birth chart to a free, you know, birth chart calculator that I feel is absolutely the best one out there, the most accurate. You know, I have that listed below. Literally everything is right under the video in the description box. You know, below all of my videos all the time. So Facebook. Some of you may already noticed um, this already. I have been. You know, Facebook for is really where it all started. So I decided to give Facebook their own daily Oracle card reading, daily messages. And their own love scope. And I'm going to give YouTube their own as well. You know, so those of you that would like to you know, follow me for the Facebook one. The link is below. Instagram I do draw and upload a daily oracle card. Every single day. I love one on, on Sunday. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Your cards feel good. I always pray over the cards before I turn on the video. Okay, we have the beautiful Empress. My women, if you're trying to conceive baby definitely give it a go this month this week definitely that very fertile energy whoa wow the emperor a lot of you whether you're male or female not that gender ever you know matters for me in private in general readings private readings absolutely but you know not in the generals but this is you know especially if you're married you know, this is a power couple. Like, for real. And the lovers. Wow, this is a power soulmate couple. Um, I mean, the emperor, the empress, you know, this together here is a big deal. You know, we have a we have a a very empowering energy. We have a power couple here. And we also have the lovers. You know. In most decks, you know, I I just I don't see it as a decision card in this deck at all. I just don't. Um, I mean, it's just beautiful energy. Pure soulmate energy. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful blessing from your spirit guides, the divine. You know, this is definitely an angel above this couple. I mean, what else could I say? Let's get some more. Let's get some clarifying. It's just beautiful. I 
do feel like you guys ha have some beautiful new love coming in. I just have that feeling. <laughs> wow. I can't make that crap up. Look at the Ace of Cups in this deck, really. Your cup is runneth over with love. Wow. Definitely soulmate energy here. I'll be surprised if the Six of Cups doesn't show up. Wow, the Chariot. And the Fool. There are six cards on this table, and five of them are Major Arcana. This is big, this is big shit, Gemini. Wow. And you know what else this is, too? This is taking a big risk in love. You know, finally, you know, going the distance for someone. This is really beautiful. This is, this is feeling very complete with someone. Emotional happiness. Absolutely beautiful. The, the the chariot is the ultimate victory and success card. Um. Wow. I mean, you know, if you're a couple looking to buy a new home, definitely trying to get pregnant, have a baby, beautiful. I mean, there's a new beginning here. I mean, it's just beautiful. Let's, um, what am I clarifying with these for this, this, this? So excited for you guys, Gemini. Wow. You're trying to start a business, something that you're totally in love with. Beautiful. Let, we're going to clarify with the ghost tarot. Intuitively, I think a reader sent me this deck that absolutely knows me better than I know myself. Because I'm going to be very honest. I'm a Virgo, so I'm brutally honest. At a, at a glance, I would not probably, I, would, I wouldn't have been drawn to this deck, I don't think. I, I just don't think I would have, but I'm going to be very honest. Love, love, love this deck for real. I'm gonna, You're going to see it a lot throughout, throughout October. I'm going to alternate. Now that next week, like I did last week, next week I will use this for the main. And then, you know, the witches to row for the, the clarifying. But, uh, and I love whoever sent me this deck. This person actually sent me two decks. Um, the other deck, I feel is more like springy. I haven't used it, but I've, I've you know, went through it myself. But whoever did, I, I mean, I just love you. Yeah, it's just the sweetest ever. All right, Gemini. That actually feels good. Five of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. And the Four of Wands. Holding them up so you guys could see them. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Some of you could be dealing with a lack concerning your finances, but other than that, You really do have beautiful love surrounding you this week. And I feel like you've worked hard for it. And, and you really are being are, are being rewarded. Rewar uh, I can't even talk to you guys. Rewarded for that work. And it feels so worth it. It's so worth it to you. And it's just totally beautiful. Let's look at your love lives. It really is. It's absolutely beautiful. That feels perfect. Okay. 
Ace of Swords. The Hermit. And the Moon. Um... Some of you are trying to build trust. There could be some illusions surrounding you. So if this is a new thing, you could be so driven toward this person, even to a point or maybe, maybe to a point of even celibacy. Oh my gosh, celibacy. Like, that's not the most important thing. Which is, I feel like, not... I, I, which is, I, I do kind of feel like it is different for Gemini because you're all about passion. And it's, it's big to you. Where you feel like you're in a dream world. Um... Yeah, let's get some more cards. All right, that actually feels good. Ah, uh, the Queen of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Eight of Swords. Like it just feels like that, you know, you're searching for uh, on advice on on whether you know you could trust this new person that's could possibly be coming back in or you know that you're dating you could be maybe paired to an air sign Libra Gemini Aquarius another one or to your energy somebody doesn't have complete trust and they're not too sure But it should be extended. You know, that's what this is saying. That's what this is saying. Let's go to couples. You know, extend that offer. It's pretty much, you know, what it's saying there. You know, if you give it a little bit of trust and show it, it'll be fine. Okay, couples. All right, this card definitely wants to come. I don't read these in the reverse if I didn't mention that. Strength card, King of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. You know, with the King of Pentacles, either you or someone else is creating like some sort of beautiful environment, you know, for love. It's like, you 
You know, it's like putting in all this hard work and effort into this environment. You know, you're 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 giving it all that you all that you got. You know, you're showing someone your true colors. And even though someone might be, you know, um, you might be coming on a little a little too strong for someone, or vice versa. Let's clarify. Um, yeah. I'm thinking so. It just it just feels like How do I want to explain this? You know, like, you're giving it everything you got. And the other person just isn't. Let me just make sure. Let me just see what else I'm getting here. Before I clarify. <coughs> I'm going to be honest, guys, I think that um, some of you could possibly end this. It just feels like, you know, if it doesn't get taken care of, that, that some one of you could possibly walk away from this. Um, but we're, let's let's just um, let's clarify. That's really all I'm getting out of that, honestly, for right now. I really um. My video right from like um, photo booth, so I really don't have like the option to no, pause. I don't really want to do that if I don't have to. Um, yeah, let's just pause. Let's just um, clarify it. Definitely putting in a lot of hard work, but it's like nobody is doing anything. What do we got here? The Death card, Nine of Swords, Five of Swords. Um, if you were someone else, there is trying to create a, a beautiful environment. I feel like you know they're they're putting in a lot of work. But someone's just coming on a little bit too strong. You know, maybe, maybe, you know, you're showing your someone your true colors and they just might think that it's just too much. You know, but you know, then things are, are transforming. You know, for some of you, it could really be something you've never quite felt before. Someone you definitely see a future with. 
So if you're if you're like if you're married, it's like you know, that there's some hidden things, but as far as fear, I just It's probably because you, you don't know them all that well. Like, you don't know them the way that you think that you know them. I don't, I don't think that it's hidden things that are bad. But it looks like you might be trying to... find find that in them. You might be searching for answers from them or vice versa, but there is a need to, you know, kind of pause here. feel like, let's look at it again. Just kind of feel like it is repeating itself. Ay, 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 couples. What is going on? Okay, the Four of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. This is definitely someone that you're really concentrating hard on. You're wondering, you know, if you should walk away from them. But at the same time, or maybe you know, they help you, maybe they help you leave. You know, the Four of Pentacles is that, you know, like hide it, like is this hidden thing, you know, Somebody is not sharing, you know, maybe not sharing your complete self, but you, you're definitely working hard on it. I feel like the bottom line with this is, is that you need to just open up, literally just open up right down to the bare bones. That's it. Somebody just is not doing that. Well, that's why it didn't make any sense. I never pulled... I, I should have pulled three more cards of these for you guys, and I didn't. Oh, my goodness. All right, I guess I will. I cannot believe that I did that. I must be getting tired. It's only 6.30. That's just bad. I cannot believe I did that. Sorry, guys. All right. That feels good. The death card. A lot of you are just going to walk away and say, screw it. The Knight of Swords. And the Five of Swords. I said that, I think I said, I said this before. This is definitely something that's transforming. Okay, it could be something that you really have never felt before, for real. Something that you definitely see a future with. Alright, so if you're married, it's like... But there's still, there, there's hidden things as, and, and as far as fear and the way, it's probably because you don't know them at all. You don't know them as well as you think you do. You, you don't know them the way you think you, it's hidden things. It's not that it's bad, but it looks like you do, you are definitely trying to find that in them.
That's probably why you're being forceful. If not you, it's the other person. But there's, you know, it just really, you know, one of you is not sharing your complete self. And I feel like it, honestly, now I feel like it's because of uh, emotional baggage that needs to be left behind, really is what I'm getting. Uh, but I think you'll do it. I really do. If it's not you, somebody really does need to show themselves. That's it. Like their true blue self. With, without the forcefulness. You know, whether you're staying or going. I'm telling you, a lot of you with the Death Card and the Eight of Cups, a lot of you are... Maybe if, if not dealing with a Scorpio, you're you're just leaving. All right, definitely um, that card wants to come. Oh my gosh! Oh, I can't even make this shit up. A skeleton. This really is opening up, revealing yourself, getting down to the bare bones. Oh my God! No way. I'm not even kidding. Having the strength to do something like admit when you're wrong. Um, what else? The strength in showing your vulnerability. To face your fears. Ask for help and support. Don't be resentful. You know, and, and show strength, not weakness. Unbelievable. What a, what a beautiful confirmation. You know, when I do this, it's either for, you know, additional clarification, you know, or, you know, guidance, you know, for the week. And it, it totally resonates with the reading. Advice for the week sometimes, whatever it is, however it resonates, it's meant for you. And this is, that we've just, we've talked about this throughout the whole reading. Gemini. Illuminate. See the big bright sun behind here? Illuminate. Open up. Get out of your... Literally. I can't even believe it. Get out of your head. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Here. Literally. Get out of your head. I'm sorry. I love you guys. Really. Come on. You guys are like that, though. You guys do overanalyze a lot. You know, I'm a Virgo. I, you know, I do, too, to a point. But, you know, I have a lot of Libra friends. And you, you guys sometimes take it to the extreme. I mean, just... Don't be so closed off. And then open up. I mean, obviously, you guys really need to ex expose yourself. Obviously. Now, what the hell? Wait, is this... No, that's not even your part. It's singles, which is beautiful. This crap is all you. <laughs> Sorry. But couples. Uh, and, and, wow, I just realized you, you actually got the death card twice. If you are not leaving, you're walking away. It's, it's right down to the clarifying card. If you don't do it. I think that's Spirit's way of saying, listen, if you don't do it, this is it. I'm stepping in and doing it for you. Major Arcana. Okay? Twice. This is like two warnings. Like I've told you. I'm telling you again, this is it. Do it or I'm cutting it out. It's what I'm telling you. Really. It's what I'm getting. Open up. Do what you gotta do. For real. Alright, Gemini, interesting. Wow. Oh my goodness. I almost felt like a Scorpio rating. No, I love my Scorpios. You know, at least you guys are interesting. This is this is um very interesting reading, I must say. 
this, this is definitely something I would get from Scorpio, though. And ironically, <laughs> oh my God, ironically, if you're really, Scorpio is dead on spot right here. Really. That's probably why. Some of you probably are dealing with a Scorpio. Leave your comments, let me know. I find that interesting. Because if I am, listen, I keep this here because sometimes, I'm not even kidding, look it. It says Gemini on it. Because looking at that, I would have been, I would have ended up like calling you guys Gemini. I gotta do that shit. Because it's happened before. Been there, done that. I gotta stay focused. Because that would have messed me right up. Yep, probably. This whole rating would have. I would. I would have. This. That's why I love Scorpios. If you're in love with it. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I get it. I have Scorpio in my chart, so I really get it. I do, for real. So leave your comments. Even you know, I love reading your comments, even though I may not get the opportunity to respond all the time. You know, I, I, I do read every single one. I love you guys. You're amazing. The support you give me. You guys are... You guys keep me going every day. You guys inspire me to keep going, to keep doing this. It's working, and I love it. So thank you for that. Okay, Gemini. So, what a reading. Those of you that um, follow me on... For the morning cards i will see you back here tomorrow on facebook and youtube those of you that do not i will see you next week for the weeklies have a beautiful week take care see you soon bye bye